Now we are going to take a look at how to handle CSS in your Nux project. First of all, we, I'm going to show you how to enable SCSS support. Uh, then we are going to create one global CSS file that will contain our global styles. And after that, I'm going to show you how you can use your mixins, functions, variables, and so on throughout your project in all of your components. And then uh, we are going to learn how to extract all of that into CSS files instead of inlining our CSS into the head of our pages, which is of course bad. First of all, let's enable SCSS support for our site. As you can see, this is our contact page. Uh, we have a container on it, title, and we have subtitle. Now, if we wanna style that, if you remember from view, uh, you can do something like style lang is SCSS, then we add a container right here, and then we can nest this title tag, and I just wanna maybe nest inside this or this subtitle to display block and to be a font size of, I don't know, 18 pixels. Okay, save this. Now, if we go to our site, uh, you can see that we get this error. So can't resolve SAS loader and so on. So what you need to do is you need to install node SAS and SAS loader and Nuxt will automatically know how to handle SCSS files from uh, then on. So let's do that. We just go right here. We can just uh, exit out of this and do something like npm install uh, node SAS and SAS loader. Now that this is installed, we can just npm run dev and wait a little bit for our server to start. So now I just refresh this page and as you can see, contact page, this is a subtitle, everything works. So now we have uh, SCSS enabled for our site. So now we have this container right here and the probability is that you would use that container throughout your site. Of course, what we don't want to do is for every one of our components and pages and so on uh, to have to define this container once again. And once the uh, once our CSS is, is extracted, if we do that, then container will repeat over and over in our CSS and that of course is not good. So what can we do to alleviate the, this situation? Well, we can create a global CSS file. And to do that, you would just go to your assets folder and in the assets folder, we will create a new directory uh, called SCSS. And in that directory, I'm going to create a file called main CSS, main SCSS. Okay, and let's just create one more file, uh, which we are going to be calling variables. Dot SCSS. Okay, so we have a classical SCSS setup right here right so we have variables we have main css in which we are going to import our variables and any other files that we uh, deem necessary so first of all let's just import those variables right so variables uh, we import them and then we can do something like body uh, bg is going to be black just to see if our main css file is working so if i save this of course nothing is actually going to happen on our page even if we refresh it because we still didn't say to nux that we want to use that file and to say to nux that we want to use that file you have to go to nux.config.js file uh, which is in the root and you find CSS, right? So you have global CSS right here, and then you can define few CSS or SCSS files right here. So to do that, uh, you would just do this and then assets, SCSS and main.scss. Uh, you will probably always have just one file and then import all other files that you need into that one file. Save this, of course, this still isn't going to work because we need to, uh, as you can see, nothing happened. Uh, we need to quit out of our server and start it up again. 
Okay, so if I refresh this page right now, as you can see, it goes dark because our body is black. Uh, so if I go right here again and let's just go to our variables and define a variable. So let's say a color of red. Okay, so we have a red color and we can use that in our main SCSS file. So we just go right here and do red. Save it, check it out. As you can see, now our page is red. Okay, let's remove that. We don't need it. So what I want to show you right now is that this is great. So we have variables, of course, you can add mixins and so on to your main CSS file, and uh, you would have access to those variables. But if we go back to our contact page, and for example, right here for the container, let's say we want to add background to it of red, we won't have access to that. So if I save this, go right here, as you can see, we immediately get an error because this is an undefined variable. What we can do in this case, uh, well, we can do something like import and then do assets, scss, and uh, variables. Right, so if I save this right now, I go to our browser, as you can see, this now works because we imported those variables right here. But of course, we don't want to do that for every component because you would probably have a variables, you would have mixins, you would have functions and whatever uh, you would have. And then you would need to import all of those into all of your components. So let's make these uh, variables, mixes, and so on available globally. So to do that, uh, we are again going to quit out of our application and do something npm install nuxjs slash style resources. So this is a module for, for Nuxt that is going to enable us uh, to make these variables, mixes, and functions available globally to all of our components. Okay, so now that this is done, let's do npm uh, run dev, right? So we want to start up our server again. And whilst this is running, actually, no, uh, I screwed this up. We don't want to do that uh, just yet because we need to do something in our next uh, configuration. So first of all, I'm just going to delete this because we won't be needing that anymore save it, we go to our next config and down here you would have modules. So we currently installed one module, which is uh, called at next JS style resources. And just like down here, as you can see, XS module configuration, uh, we would add a style resources module configuration. I'm just going to paste it in. So you would do style resources, and then you would define all of your SCSS files that you want to uh, make available globally to you. So uh, we just save this and now we can run npm run dev. Okay, so this is done. Let's go to our browser, refresh this page. And as you can see, we get this red color right here. Uh, if, if we go to our code editor, uh, go to index.view, we are not importing anything up here. And let's just test it one more time. So uh, let's add the blue color. It's just going to be blue. Save this, uh, go to index.view and instead of red, say blue. So we are calling the variable called blue. And if we go to our browser, as you can see, this works. So this is great. Before we go to the next subject, I just want to give you a big warning right here. So you would only use this for variables, mixins, uh, functions, and so on. So not for a real quote unquote CSS. So variables, mixes, and uh, variables are not actually going to be in your CSS file, they are going to be generated. Uh, if you do this with normal CSS files with actual styles in it, 
uh, what is going to happen is for every component you have uh, this is going to be generated again. So if you have 10 components of your site, let's say a style called black will appear 10 times. So you don't want to do that, of course. You just want to uh, make this available only for variables, mixes and functions is in SCSS. Nothing else, right? So remember that and act accordingly. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing uh, I just want to show you is if we take a look at our generated site uh, from before, as you can see right here, uh, we have a lot of CSS in the head uh, of our pages. And this is true for all of the pages we created. Of course, we don't want to do that. This is okay if you have a super small site. It's actually better because then you don't have to... Um, make network requests for CSS files. But since we don't have that, and we are probably going to be, uh, be, be building a medium sized static site, you want your CSS to be in, in the external files. So how do we do that? Well, actually very easily, uh, you would just go to nuxt.config.js. And in the build options, you would just do extract CSS. So extract CSS to be true, save this. And then uh, we can just go, right, as you can see, this something is building right here. Okay, so we just go right here, quit out of Nuxt and do npm run generate. Now, once our site is generated, let's take a look at this index.html file again. And now here, as you can see, we have CSS files, uh, not uh, inlined CSS. And this is true for all of our pages right now. So if you go to uh, contact, as you can see, we also have those files imported right here. So no more CSS stylings in, in the head of your pages. Uh, this is of course very good because all of these CSS files that are now included would be cached. So once they are loaded, they would be available throughout your site very, very quickly uh, without additional network requests. Okay, so this is it for this episode. Uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.